What's up, my friends and the viewers of the YouTube? Today, we're going to be talking about how you can pick your own niche as a affiliate marketer and how you can do it so easy and make a lot of money. So let's get Ah, uh, this is my little slideshow. I hope you enjoy the present. If you like it, great. If you don't, that's great. Let's get into the juicy details. So when I was a wee lad, I had much more hair. But besides that, I was good at two things, video games and working out. Uh, I actually made money from doing this. So I uh, used to work for Blizzard Entertainment. But on the side of that, I actually was a, um, a botter. So I would have programs that would play for me. I've always done these little crazy, like, off-the-wall uh, little side jobs because they're fun. And uh, there are things I like to do, like video games. So I got to, I would, people would pay me to play video games, but I would also use software to play for me. The other side of the coin is I was into fitness. Made a lot of money in fitness. And I enjoyed doing it. I think that a lot of people just pick a niche and think it's going to make them a lot of money. In reality, they should pick something that they actually could talk about and go deep on. So uh, I would just report what I was doing. Uh, different workouts, uh, different motivational things, diets, supplements, different lifts. Things that I could take, say, the fitness and break it into little categories like diet, supplements, lifts, and uh, actually show them, create little guides. Uh, little handouts, little little uh, things of value, and so when the, if I was still in fitness, I'd show before how, afters of supplements how they affected my body, uh, different meal plans you could buy online, and like you could literally go to Blue Apron, search say for instance online delivery meal plans. You see Blue Apron here, Hello Fresh. Then you can use the Google machine and use Blue Apron type plus affiliate and bam there is a affiliate program for that literally this is how easy affiliate marketing is to find uh one affiliate program that you can promote or two things that you enjoy actually talking about and making money from that's just the craziest thing <laughs> anyways before i uh i had clients that i was training and um they were able to pay me a lot of money and in doing so uh, they would have assets. Those assets made them money. And I was like, how, how do I not work and make money? So they said, we own real estate. I was like, oh, that's really cool. I, I want to do that. So I was like, I will buy real estate. And so from like 2019 to 2022, I was buying real estate, got up to 1.8 million. This is 1.1. And um, I uh, just did it. I enjoyed learning about real estate, about real estate, and it was. And so, as you can see, this is this is not actually one of our rental properties. This is our house, at a big lot. And so I started talking about it, and uh, I was invited to conferences because I was able to tell them, you know, this is what I've done. I think your people would find value in. This. And so I would speak at events and that sort of thing, um, but. Say I wanted to do some kind of affiliate thing with real estate. Um, I could do skip tracing, which is finding out if a um, homeowner that owns a property is out of state, uh, how to get in contact with them, get their phone number, that sort of thing. You can skip trace. And lo and behold, there's an affiliate program for a skip. You could literally learn. You could use what you use in your everyday life that you find enjoyable and make money from it and just write little guides that help people on making money. But you need to love the topic. If you don't love the topic, you're just picking something because you think it's gonna make money and you can't go deep on it, you're never gonna make money. Uh, one, it's gonna show up in your, like your phone or like how well you, how excited you get about something. Um, it just shows up and if you can't show that you're like, obsessed with it, then um, people aren't going to follow you. Um, you need to pick something you want to be obsessed with for a few years. So you get bored. Like me, I was, got bored of fitness. My clients wouldn't make it a lifestyle. And um, they thought if you up one day a week or like 
three days a week or one hour a day that it was enough. and i'm like yo that's not enough that's not a lifestyle that's a, ho- a hobby and i think a lot of people in the online space make it a hobby i think they they do their one hour or two hours uh to make an online business and they call it like this is how i'm gonna be uh showing up every day and that's that's Unfortunately, that's not the real world. You need to be obsessed with something. You need to go deep, and you need to put your whole, like heart and soul into something. If you can't do that, then uh, you're not going to be known as an expert. And so, you need to bring value to your audience every single day. And if that's just writing something up, doing video, um, messaging people, uh, just showing up, and being People love that. So you need to be be seen as the expert in the, whatever you're talking about. If it's supplements, fitness, and you have an affiliate program that that, if it's uh, making money online and uh, showing people that you can use software to make money, if it's uh, how to be the best dad and referring baby supplements and furniture and whatever that is, you need to be seen expert me i love making money and i enjoy it but i don't enjoy the actual thing of money like a tangible asset's not really important to me it's what you can do with it. and we'll have a whole different discussion on that in the future but for me i write like different ways i've made money from car rental from paying off my car with zero percent interest we had a have a small car rental business and it makes Quite a good money, and I don't have to do anything. People rent out my car, and they rent uh, my cars, and um, they pay me every Friday. Uh, and then also I get like tolls, and they pay back for tolls. So I get I get free points on my credit card. It's a whole different topic, but it's just it's like value within value. Anyways, uh, get a, if you credit cards with points are amazing. It's like free travel wherever you go. Um, and you don't have to use your own money and you can um, use those that money to reinvest into assets instead of paying for flights and hotels. You can just use points. Anyways, it's wonderful. Let's get into Bitcoin because I like to talk about crypto and crypto is an asset. People think it's you know, digital money, but we've been in digital money forever. I don't know the last time I've used cash. Um, I only use a credit card. That's pretty much the same thing as Bitcoin, but just a different uh, vehicle. Um, however, Bitcoin, Ethereum, crypto in general, is, uh, I'm not a tax, this is my disclaimer, I'm not a CPA or a tax advisor. Um, from my understanding, crypto is taxed as real estate with short-term, uh, um, I don't want to say, what am I trying to think? Short-term gains and long-term gains, I can't think of the name right now. Capital gains is the word I was looking for. So capital gains. And um, with that, if you hold it long term, uh, it's taxed like capital gain. Also, the power of that is you can borrow against it. Like real estate, we can do cash out refines, refinances. With crypto, you can do um, not a margin loan because it's more stocks. You can just leverage, it, borrow against it using different um, uh, platforms. And that's pretty cool too. We'll go over that later. Um, how I made my first hundred thousand a year with no experience, or how I start a hundred and twenty year online business underwear guaranteed. And so, it's, again, I'm just creating things that I've actually done. So, like for instance, this is uh, in that post, yeah, hundred twenty thousand online year at business. I show three different ways, and this is uh, how I've been able to make a hundred thousand. Actually, 122,000 in real estate in a single day. And so I go on to talk about how I've been able to uh, white label software and use it to make money. And so it's kind of like white labeling your own protein powder. If you're in the fitness world, people uh, create their own protein that is made by another company and they just slap their label on it. That's called white labeling. You're able to sell it at a uh, the difference in the price right actually so i was able to white label software level and i still make uh 
money from just referring this product to other people, to affiliates by making little guides. I actually did this in this guide right here, $120,000 a year business in uh, affiliate marketing. Uh, I just show that these are the three. I think it was software, um, affiliate marketing, and content. Um, it was like, and uh, one of them was software. And you can do this with software. I mean, I've done this, like I said, plenty of times. And I go over math on it, how easy it is and what I've done with it. And so if you talk to 100 people a day, business owners, uh, showing them the value of using a funnel builder, email, um, how to automate their, essentially their software, uh, how to automate their posting to groups, um, how to get testimonials online. It was an easy way to make $120,000 a year through using that software. And so um, you, you need to be able to create content that links to, to software, to supplements, to makeup, whatever it is that you enjoy talking about. But here's the thing, you need to actually enjoy talking about it. If you don't enjoy talking about it whatsoever, uh, then one, you're gonna get burnt out. Uh, two, you're not gonna want to um, ever talk about it or it's just gonna be lazily put together and then your audience see that and then you're not gonna be look, you're not gonna look like the expert. Um, and then, or, do you hate talking about money? Then don't talk about money. Like if you are someone who um, is af not afraid of money, but just, I feel like there's people out there that just are afraid of money. Um, not like that it's evil or anything, but more of like they were raised in a way that like money is not talked about. That's just like, I don't know. But I think that's just um, some people's beliefs. And that's totally cool. Um, but if you hate talking about it or you're uncomfortable about, about it, don't talk about it because then um, it's not going to, you, you're going to get burnt out on it. So do something you do enjoy talking about. If that's fitness, if that's makeup, if that's uh, sorcery, if that's automation, if that's business, if that's content creation, uh, you know, there's other things you can do that makes you money, that make you money and things you actually enjoy talking about. So. Um, that is how you pick a niche. Um, really, uh, I think there's that quote and it's so cliche, but it's like, if you, um, make money from something you love, you're never working a day in your life. And I think that a lot of people don't do that. They, they think that they need to talk about affiliate marketing and how do affiliate marketing make money. To, I don't know. It's a whole shindig, but Make, you can, there are so, so many ways to make money by affiliate marketing and by just talking about something we're doing. So that's how you pick your niche. And if you guys enjoyed this, like, subscribe.